Hello everybody out in the pool world. Mark here again. This video, pretty important, tangent lines. Uh, it's the way we're gonna learn to keep from scratching or to play shape, knowing where a cue ball is going and how to get there and what to do with it. So uh, this is gonna be a nice 10, 15 minute video again. Uh, I'm on a time limit of course. I only have about 15 minutes of video. So do as much as I can in each one and pack it in there. Hope everybody's doing good. We'll talk soon. Leave some comments, please. Uh, like it, whatever you gotta do. Uh, let us know how it is. We'll talk soon. What I'm doing here is I'm just making a, a square piece of paper. So I'm using this actual light switch cover, which is perfectly square, and trace it out. Cut this little sucker out so it's square. And we're gonna use this for a practice drill. And uh, once we have this cut out, we're gonna use the four corners as a reference point, and we're gonna draw lines through them. So any straight edge works. I'm using this putty scraper, which worked awesome. I'm just gonna make uh, straight lines, corner to corner, and that's gonna give you your line of sight for your tangent lines drill, which we're gonna be working on here. So we're gonna do this corner to corner, so we have a perfect X going through the middle of the paper. And we know it's square. And then we're going to set this up on the break spot. So where you rack the balls, that little spot right there, we're gonna put the center of that X on, on that spot. What you'll see here is I cut out the center of the paper so I can find the exact spot on the table to match up the, the dots. Now that we have our paper set up, once you have it on the break spot, this little video part here just shows you that the lines line up to the side pocket and to the opposing corner pockets on both, both sides and both corners of one end of the table. And they will line up perfectly to the centers of the pockets. So right here I have the cue ball in a perfect line from the side pocket through the one ball to the other corner pocket. I was gonna play a dead stroke, dead center shot. Cue ball is gonna stay right on that line and not move. And then we're gonna get into some of the shooting differences with the angles. Here's where the learning begins and you can start to see where your scratches are. So our tangent line on the paper is going directly to the side pocket. You can see the line in front of the three that goes right to the side. My, now my cue ball is off to this side here, just, just above the middle diamond. So it's creating quite a good angle. But at least this shows me that when I hit almost a dead center shot, I'm gonna scratch on this three ball. So I can avoid it or I can scratch on it. And this shows us that the tangent lines don't lie. So we have to make adjustments not to scratch next time. Now I'm creating a one ball angle off this five ball so I can shoot the five in the corner. And I'm gonna show that once again, the tangent line for the five ball is going directly to the corner pocket with an angle like this. So you can play top, center, bottom to change where the cue ball goes. So I'm gonna mark where the cue ball is gonna stay every shot. Five, goals, five ball is gonna be the same every shot. And we're gonna see where the cue ball ends up and how to, how to correct and alter its path so we don't scratch. We're gonna do a scratch shot first and then we're gonna change up from that and avoid that. And then we're gonna do a drill Once again, dead center stroke shot, we can tell and see that the tangent line doesn't lie. So now we can make corrections and we, we're gonna learn from that. Exact same shot in the five ball, same placement, everything. Only difference is I'm gonna play one tip top on the cue ball. Then I'm gonna play one tip bottom on the cue ball, the next shot. And the top is gonna throw the cue ball forward and not go anywhere near a tangent line. It's gonna bend the tangent line forward. No chance of scratching. So it alleviates any scratch. Now this, this six ball here, we're gonna, it's the exact same shot. It's gonna play bottom and we're gonna drag it right to the side rail. So it's impossible to scratch. Knowing this, where the cue ball is going, we can 
park the cue ball anywhere we want or break things out. Play position anywhere on the table we need to, just as long as we avoid the scratches. So that's working out pretty good. So we're going to do the five ball shot again. And we're going to hit dead stroke, pretty much dead center on the, on the cue ball again. We're just going to follow the natural angle of the tangent line, which is to the corner pocket. So you're going to scratch or break something out there. Whatever you need to do. It's a good shot. Once again, this is the same shot in the five ball, but up close you can see that I'm just playing a little bit different Q-tip elevation from dead center to one tip up to one tip below center on the cue ball. First shot, scratch in the corner. Second shot here, we're gonna set it up again. Then we're gonna play one tip above center line on the cue ball. And that's gonna drag our cue ball forward and keep us away from that corner pocket, which is the whole point of this. So, nice and smooth, one tip up, focus on that spot. Oh, there comes the cue ball, didn't scratch, that's good. And the last shot, of course, is going to be exact same shot, but we're going to play a good tip bottom, play a draw shot in this. So, I'm gonna drag it over the side pocket, no, no chance of scratching. Nice and smooth. Once again, focus, keep your eye on the ball. Get your stroke down there and hit it. Perfect. So now we're gonna step this up into exact position play. Same thing, it's gonna be the exact same shot we had before. And we're gonna try to do the balls in order. So we have the one, two, three, four, and five on the rails we made the eight ball and we hit the one ball with it now we're going to take the one ball since we hit it put it on the spot we're going to try to change our stroke and our hit on the cue ball so we hit the two well we hit the two ball in so or one ball in sorry now we're going to play the two ball and try to avoid the three because we don't want to scratch in that pocket good so after that, now we're gonna take the three ball and we're gonna go for the four ball. So we're gonna to try to pot this, hit the four. Put a little bit of bottom on this. Nice. Now we're gonna take the four ball, place it, and we're gonna go for a draw shot and try to hit to the five ball. And you can do this shot for side pockets, corners, both ways. It doesn't matter where you do it and how you do it. It's a great drill to learn though and it'll, it'll make you sharp. Okay, for this little segment, as you can see, I got a piece of tape on the table and that matches the tangent line that is going to the side and corner pocket. So just a dead center shot Nice stroke on this will hold the cue ball on that tangent line. Same as on the paper. And you can adjust that line anywhere. It doesn't matter where the ball is on the table. You can figure out where your tangent line is for after your cue ball hit. So that one was right on the line. This one, I'm going to play a little bit of uh, a top on it. Just a bit above center. I'm going to get rid of the cue ball go down table. It's all about different practicing ideas, learning where the cue ball is gonna go. This one, we're gonna draw it straight back. It's the same as same same drill as the, the corner shot one we were doing earlier. Just figuring out where, where to hit on the cue ball. And the reaction it's gonna have after you hit it. And from here, this next one, we're gonna actually add some spin on this cue ball now. So we're gonna play top with inside left side on the cue ball here, and it's gonna drag the cue ball forward into the rail, off the back rail, and all the way back up to where my cueing position was originally. Just to show you that you can make the cue ball dance and get anywhere on the table you need to. So 
Here's a shot that comes up a nine ball sometimes. Not, I mean, there's variations of this, but anyway, this is using our uh, tangent lines and uh, then playing a carom, which is gonna be one of the next videos coming up. So here we go. Sometimes they just line up. See you to the nine ball. Sometimes watching players make great shots. They're not just lucky. They might have some knowledge. This is another video all in itself. This is reverse banking. So eight ball doesn't go anywhere except for the, the bank here. So this will be coming up in another video shortly. Fantastic shot to know. Thanks for watching you guys. It was lots of fun. See you in the next one. Well, pool junkies, we got through that one. That was a lot of fun too. Tangent lines, pretty important. So much more that a guy can do on that all by itself. There's, you know, throwing spin on the ball and throwing balls and there's miles of it, but we got the gist of it. So if we want more on that one, we can do another video. It's no problem. Uh, next one's gonna be coming up are gonna be maybe carom or reverse banking. I was gonna do a reverse banking one, which is pretty technical, but a lot of fun to, to learn. And it's, uh, it'll save you some time. It's, it's a good thing to know. So let us know in the comments what you, what you guys wanna see and uh, how I'm doing, just winging it in amongst my uh, basement renovations here. I'm up to my eyeballs with no floor in here and half the ceiling missing, but it's coming along. So I'm still doing the videos anyway, still fun. We'll talk soon, hope everybody's good. See you later.